In this video, Donaldson product manager Patrick Stumpf will show you how to change filters on a Dolomatic G2 baghouse collector. If at any point you need assistance or have questions, please contact us at 833-310-0017. Before changing filters, please read the manual as it contains specific precautions for worker safety. I've got a demo unit in front of me here today. This is the Dolomatic G2 demo. We've got three filters in this unit overall, so your unit in the actual field is going to have eight filters per bank and tier. It's going to look a little bit different. It's going to have a, a sides on it. It's going to have a hopper, a leg pack. It's going to look a lot more like the images you see on the, the slide behind me. So uh, a little bit bigger in reality, but today for our, our filter change-up purposes, this will do just fine. So. To do a filter change out, the first thing you do is make sure that all of your equipment shut down, your blower shut down. We recommend pulse cleaning uh, before you change out filters as well to knock as much dust down and away from those filters as possible, keep you clean. Uh, but to uh, start your filter change out, you're gonna open your door. So we recommend certainly starting at the top of your collector. So you wanna start with the top row of filters on your Dalomatic G2 and work your way down. Again, start at the top, work your way down. That makes sure that your clean filters are gonna stay clean after you change them uh, and you can work your way down through the rest of those dirty filters. Dust will continue to fall out as you change them. So start that filter change, pretend this is our top row. It is in fact our top row, we only have one row. So uh, we're gonna open the uh, collector by undoing the top and bottom bolts. It's captive hardware, very nice, almost a toolless design. You just need uh, the hardware to open the door. But once you do, it's gonna swing open, open it all the way. And then from here, you can get full access to your filters and begin your filter change out. So again, a real unit's gonna have eight filters in them. We just have one here with another insert for demonstration purposes. But now that you got the door open, you can change the filter. So what you're gonna do is go top and bottom of your bag, you're gonna feel there's a little support ring on side, inside of this, uh, that's uh, around this insert overall. So you're gonna grab a hold of that filter support frame and the filter, and you're gonna yank backwards and pull. It should be less than 25 pounds uh, to, to do that. So very ergonomic to get this filter out. So once you do, it's gonna come out in this assembly. You've got your filter, it's pre-sewn to your uh, radial seal uh, retention gasket here, and then on the inside is that filter support frame. So to change the filter, you can cut your bag off, uh, or today, just because we wanna reuse this filter, we're gonna loop the gasket over the support ring and pull it down and off. So right now, I'm just looping that gasket over back, and now you're ready to change your filter. So you're gonna slide your filter completely down and off of this support ring, uh, and now this is what that support ring looks like. This is a reuse item. You're gonna use this again when you change that Dalamatic G2 filter. So now that your old filters are off, it's time to put new filters on, uh, and so we're gonna start that process. Uh, this typically works better with two people. Uh, however, it's definitely possible to do with one. I'll show you here. So. You're gonna grab your new filter bag, you're gonna slide it over that filter support ring, and then slide that all the way down until it's at the bottom of the bag. Once you're there, now you can loop this gasket over the top. So I'm gonna slide a little sideways here so you can see what this looks like. This gasket's got a little ring on the top of it, and so we're gonna start by looping this over, and you can see how it's getting seated right over the top. There we go. So now we got a fully seated gasket. You can see it's a nice little flat part here. You got some tabs on the production units that are gonna line with your tube sheet and make sure that you get a good seal. You also have multiple wipers on, on this radial seal. That's really creating that nice tight seal to make sure that you have an airtight, dust tight design of your collector. So now that uh, this is fully seated and ready to go, you're ready to install it. So we'll go back over here to the unit. You can see as a close up here, this insert um, is chamfered and it has a little W channel. So the filter support frame we just showed you sliding over the filter, that's gonna ride right inside this W channel as it slides and works its way to the crown, the receiver that's gonna create that seal against the tube sheet. Uh, it's also this nice little chamfer design. Uh, as you can see, the uh, filter support frame has 90 degree angles, so it gives you a little handhold top and bottom as you do this as well. So you're gonna slide that right over that insert I'm gonna grab a hold to the bottom here, and then as you get close, we're pretty close at this point, you're gonna give it a little push to make sure that that seal fully is seated uh, and that you get that nice dust tight seal. So a little bit of a pop there at the end, that gives you a nice tight seal. You can double check to make sure it's flush and seated. Um, 
to make sure that this uh, filter support ring is flush with the insert. So if there's anything sticking out, you know that there's something wrong there, you wanna make sure to double check. Uh, you can also grab a whole top and bottom a little bit and push just to make sure that you're fully nice and seated. And if you follow me over here, you'll see the new crown design of the radio seal is now fully seated and sealed with this gasket. So you see there's an internal wiper, that's really the dust tight seal. This secondary wiper is to make sure dust doesn't get into the receiver. So that is nice and fully seated here. We've got an airtight seal. Now you're ready to close the door of this specific module uh, and then start your collector back up and get your process wrong. So we'll close the doors at this point in time. It does take a little bit of pressure to do so. Make sure you tighten your bolts all the way so that you do get that dust tight seal of the collector overall. But once you've done that, this door is gonna be completely shut. You're ready to start your process equipment back up and get your collector and that process back up and running.